Hello folks, today we're going to be working on this Marcy, uh, looks like a weight machine here. Here's a quick picture of it. We'll go ahead and assemble this together. It comes in three boxes. Uh, for this particular one, model number M, sorry, MWM-1005. So, you know, this says box one of one. Then there's a weight on two of two. And there's some more weight on three of three. So uh, let me assemble this thing, see how well it functions. But you know, there's a glance of a box. It's pretty heavy, so I had to have some help to lift this thing up. Uh, see how this thing goes. So I guess we'll call this a box opening. I've seen a lot of people do this for some reason on the YouTube, like opening box thing. I figure out, I'll try it. So, so got the top pod, got the other piece off the box, and then this is how the rest of the box is arranged. So we're looking at a bunch of seats, yeah, and parts underneath, let me see if I can flip it just over so I can get a picture underneath it. So this looks like it's going to take quite a while, right, because it's a lot of pieces. This instruction will keep aside, we'll need. Those are the paddings, and there's a lot more stuff underneath, as you can see. So. And that does not include the weight. So we'll see how long it takes. You know, uh, it's about 140 right now. We'll see how long it takes uh, to put this together. It takes a little longer with the video, so bear with me. Okay, folks, so we're in the manual. We're going to go ahead and do the step one. Let me get those brackets out, get the bolts, and then, you know, there's a lot of bolts on this thing and nuts. So it's going to take a while. I mean, this is like a jigsaw puzzle. So follow the instructions. Okay guys, so we're on step one, as you can see. So you're gonna need uh, two nuts, sorry, two bolts, and two washers, flat washers. So I'm gonna put this thing together. You're gonna need two pipes, and the bottom piece over here. So basically the way it goes, I'm gonna put it in here. I'm gonna flip it backwards, so it could basically go on outside holes, right, pegs. And this thing flips over this way. And then two bolts, they go from the bottom. Right, so we start those up. Okay, so I need like a 41, right? Let me go back to the uh, instruction first. So you need these pieces over here, that 41 rubber pieces. Unfortunately, they don't number these things. At least I can't find a number. So just kind of dig around. Look for a package like this. Has some like a red pull for the hands when you're pulling the bars. Uh, so in that same package, there's two rounds. You just have to kind of you know, dig for it in the box. And then you'll... Hey guys, so I don't know if this was like a return items or it's like Mercy doesn't know how to pack things because they don't know how to read. Because see how they put the numbers on the instructions? Normally when I assemble all the other machines I have, right? Those number 23 matches those numbers on these, you know, different bars. These things have no numbers whatsoever. So now they told me go look for piece 21, which is this piece. And I'm looking through and I can't find it. And I looked through this particular package bundle. It was wrapped inside of there. So basically it's just a guessing game at this point, right? So you look at the manual, you try to match the pictures. It's like, I'm going to, it's the first time I assemble something that's just like pictorial, picture-based assembly, instead of, you know, uh, intelligent number-based, you know, computational uh, assembly. So yeah, this is going to be a first one for me. Anyway, guys, so just dig through these things until you get to the right part. I'll try to help you out with this video. Hopefully it helps. Okay, so you're going to need a couple of bolts, washers, and nuts. We're going to go put these things together right now. So here's piece one. So a couple of things to point out. This is the uh, bushings. I pointed out last time. I put those on. Try to keep these bolts facing forward, but we might come back and realign these things so the weight goes through there. And this, I'm, supposed, I'm assuming there's some kind of assembly there because the bar is not too stable. So anyway, so this is the long piece. The long piece goes like so. And there's a hole right there. We're just basically annihilating. Uh, lining the holes so we do this and as I said before the washers always goes towards the nuts so for now we're just going to take the bolts and if you can see there's a square notch there 
this is a square peg, so it makes it a little easier to kind of, you know, take this piece, basically, you know, keep your finger on the bolt so it doesn't slide back for you. And this piece goes here, and then flat washers, flat washer on this side, and then tighten this down. So they didn't give me an adjustable wrench on this particular one. That I'm going to have to go grab my adjustable wrench and I can tighten these guys up. So I'll come back once I have this piece tightened up. Thank you. Okay, so we are in step. Uh, oh, we did step two. We are in step three. So same thing, same kind of bolts. Two bolts, two locking nuts, two watchers. And I need one of these plates that goes in the bottom, you know, on the bottom over here. And then you're going to have this long piece which is right here sitting in front of me so use this as a guidance point right so we're going to take this piece grab it on, okay? and we're not going to be able you're not going to be able to assemble you're going to need help on this thing so take the big piece over here we're going to push this to a side and have somebody hold it for you and so that way i can go behind it so as you can see this piece i'm going to Use the board as a leverage point here. Hopefully it'll work. So that's a leverage. And so basically this pin goes here. That long piece is pointing in the front. Same thing over here. So let's just get a quick glance. We're going to need a plate. And we're going to need a bolt. So bolt goes through here. This, first of all, it might be easy to just get one of the bolts out on the other side. Then put this bar on there and then come back here again do the second one same thing going forward jiggle it so it locks in the back because there's a square notch where it locks in now i just need to look at my two nuts and washers washer always goes towards the nut side that's one washer another washer in the bolts so let me tighten this and i'll come back thank you hi guys so this is the weights so they're basically plastic weights with the cements inside. So it's not really like a, if you drop it a couple of times really hard on it, you can already see the bent here because of the packaging and how it came. So you might crack over there. So these things are not like longevity thing, maybe two years best, right? Just when you're doing the weight lifting, do it uh, with a very low speed so it doesn't pop. So let's go back to the instruction over there. And let's see which way these weights go. So this thing drops in, so it basically shows the holes, and it's going to be pointing towards the inside. And looks like from the picture, these little gaps are on the bottom side of it. So let's go back here, and I'll show you one. So shoot this way. Take one of the weights. There's two holes. I'm going to line it over here. The middle one is going to be empty. So basically go in here, slide it in, and drop. Now you're going to be doing this thing for this box, there's two, four, six, seven weights there, and I have another box of seven weights. So let me put all of these in and I'll be back. Okay guys, so we are doing step number five. So, a bunch of tools is the top piece that's going to go on there. That's what we're concentrating on. So, here's your tools. They gave the Allen wrench, two bolts, two nuts, two washers, and a plate that's going to lock from this side here, right? So, we're going to slide this in, tighten the bolt in there, 
and this thing over here that goes to the weights. So we're going to go ahead and start assembling this and we'll take a look at it. Put this piece, big piece, slides right on there, all the way up, line up these two bolts with these two weight bars. And there's a dropped one, I'm going to have to go back and grab that. Let's do one side just to hold this. So there's a bolt that's supposed to go in there. It's painted and stuff, so it might take a little efforts kind of go back and forth and so I'm gonna I just dropped the other one I'm gonna go ahead and grab that one but for the time being we'll continue with the installation so here's the plate here's two bolts they lock in when they slide into the square holes right right there square square and once you have that piece this goes all the way in the front right here I'm gonna drop this into the two holes and then they're gonna come Okay, so as you can see this thing is like a nightmare assembly thing going on here all the bolts washers and craziness right and none of the things are labeled except for the bolts that's the only thing that's labeled none of the plates in the box is labeled so take some guess so I figured out I found this plate right here and I found this plate so what I'm gonna do is first since I'm gonna have to this weight they assembled it right now they're gonna make me install this which means I'm gonna have to lift the whole thing up here in order to get underneath to put the bolt so let's just do one piece over here then we'll come back to the cross piece so uh, here we go once we get going plate bolts on there so with all the weights I'm still gonna have to well, it's not too heavy so it's kind of acts as a leverage so that helps now, if I have eyes on the bottom right that would help but, so we'll do this and line up the other two bolts pull this up so hopefully it'll stay there right so keep those I got the nuts over here and there's this piece the rubber goes facing away towards the pedal part not towards the weight but this thing goes away and you know, it'll work out so it helps when you're not upside down so this just slides on there you do a nut on there Actually, I have to get the washer in the right direction. There's a flat side on the washer, if you notice. There's a shiny side. Shiny side goes out. and Just more decorative, right? Anything else. So you don't necessarily have to do that part. I'm going to do the nut in the back here. So there's lock washers. I don't know if you can see. There's a little black spots in the middle. Those are called lock nuts. And they basically, the, you know, the fiber on there starts locking after a certain point. So that's why I can't turn beyond that without a wrench. So... We're going to leave that piece there and we're going to go ahead over here pick up our second piece so the second piece goes against there and there's two bolt holes here so it's going to come through here and for this guy there's just going to be two bolts and this one doesn't have the square pieces on the bottom so you can tell so we're going to put those through here Let me do a quick check on the instruction on something, make sure I'm going in the right direction on the bolts. So I'm looking at this instruction and that is correct, except I'm supposed to do a washer. So let's take this out for a second. So basically this kind of bolt, washer, you're going to need two of them. Let's just assemble it. There's another one assembled. Now we go with this pieces, the flat piece on the top stays on the top side screw it there might be easier if I just do one bolt first little bit showing then as we put this plate on push this in and I'm gonna do the same thing on the bottom and it comes through and then you're gonna go on the opposite side and you're gonna grab two nuts again right sorry two washers washer goes and the nut goes once again go back and check the assembly Make sure I'm doing this correctly, and the washer, according to this, yes, there is a washer on the other side too, so. So basically I'm going to tighten this when I come back, and I'm going to do the same thing up here, washer, nut, and let's go to the other location, on um, opposite side, so this just kind of holds, everything is together, so here's the other pieces I'm going to need, once again, two bolts, two washers, goes on this thing, and you're going to need a metal piece for the support. So thread it on, be right back real fast, check, 
and the bolts do go from inside out so I'm going to put it through this direction through there comes out there to another one comes out there and don't forget your metal piece first additional support a washer and a nut so guys there you go right and I'm going to tighten all this and I'm going to come back thanks these two washers two bolts sorry two nuts and one long bolt and this is the piece we're going to go next this flange goes on the back side this way that's pointing back you lift it we're going to drive this two-sided bolt through here comes out on that side and let's just stay on that side we're going to throw in the washer and we're going to throw a nut on the top of it right there let's go on this side throw in a washer throw in a nut on top of it so i'm going to tighten this down and then we'll come back hey guys so quick tidbits See these nuts there? These nut there? You need two wrenches. You need to go double sided. You're gonna need one wrench over here, one over there, so you can tighten these. And they don't come with it, right? So you might have to buy a little mini toolbox in order to assemble this thing. Here we go. We're gonna do the next step. This is this piece right here. So they will come in multiple pieces. We'll do it one at a time. So first thing is you get one of those big giant sponge pads. There's the rod right there. So you're basically going to have to muscle this thing in the hole right there. So it's a little tougher than doing this by yourself, right? So hang on a second, be right back. So here we go guys, just slide this thing in there. You have to just twist it in there. It's going to take some muscle to do this, of course. Push it in, slide it. Hopefully, you can get it to go in. So, and it doesn't tell me where it's supposed to stop, right? Somewhere they said, after the bent. And so we'll adjust this thing to our uh, arm level once we get going. So the second piece that goes on here, so we're just going to work on this long piece, then come back. It's just going to hook up here. And we're going to put two bolts in there. So let me put this thing, and I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. And then we'll come back. Here's the two washers. Two bolts, washer it, washer it, got this, so this is the piece, so see how this thing, let me take one out of the picture, so how, see how this thing bends in, so we're going to put it on the inside, only goes one way, see the, these two big holes on the bottom, small ones on the other side, so flip this bar over, and that's where we did the nut in a bolt, I'm going to drive through here, and kind of jiggle it around until it catches. That's one. And that's two. So as you can see, I have the, got the sponge on there. And I got that piece on there. I'll tighten all that later. I'm going to come back, do the same thing for the other one. And... Hey okay, guys, so here I'm going to need one of these type of pins. Two washers, two bolts. I'm going to put all this together, so I'm, right now I'm doing the right side. So what they're looking at is, they're looking at it from that side of the machine. So when you go in this way, you know, this bar is going to go on this side. The easiest way to try to tell is this pin right here is going to push backwards. So just slide this thing in here. Drop the pin from the top, you're going to have to, you know, probably easier, let's just do this. Put the washer in a bolt, so that when the pin goes, Pin doesn't drop across, it catches it. So it just goes through here and then it drops on the bottom. Washer, bolt, and we'll tighten that. And this piece is basically goes here to block, right? It's just for the pin. So I'll be right back after we do the other side. Some of them, it's going to have this wire wrap. I think there's only three pieces that has the wire wrap. And the reason for this is, you know, you don't want to look step on it or you know scratch it these are basically washers so most washers go straight through on these guys or their bushings i should say let me grab the other one that dropped so you know instead of going straight through they just to put two bushings across 
So same thing, this plate, let me pull the pin out, it goes in here, drive the two bolts and we'll be back. Four holes in the seat and these two nuts. So if we can go underneath, put maybe light on so we can see what we're doing here. Let me put the light on guys here. So that might help. There we go. So see, just go here, right? Two on this side, two on line it up. The other two is going to be on the opposite side. I'm not sure you're going to be able to see that. So I'm just going to start these guys and I'm going to come back. And after I tighten these, then we'll go to the next step. So there's the seat assembly. Okay, so let's do the seat assembly first. So when you're doing the seat assembly, make sure the angle is pointing away from the big side of the seat. So once you get this thing on there, you know, same thing, washer, bolt, it goes on there. And so these are all wooden pieces, you know. Uh, we'll see. Longevity, I guess, is not the strong point of any of these home gyms. Unless you buy one of those for like a five or six thousand bucks or something, you know. Let's move to second piece on there. So we're working on this. So this, this piece, and obviously they go in cheap washers. Uh, the reason I say that expensive washers are long, you know, bushings are longer or goes all the way across, they, they just touch on two points, so make sure you don't lose those. Yeah, and that was the reason I guess it was wrapped in this tie, so you don't lose the little bushings. So there's the bushings there, I'm looking at the picture upside down, so hopefully this will work here. And what I'm going to do before, uh, let's just do the attachment actually. We're going to go over here, so there's a clip, right, and this is the kind of bolt. So there's, you know, I'm going to unassemble this, let's see. So. This is the bushing that bushing rides on it. So just washer nut go on this side. And so I'm gonna have to do a quick reference check on this thing. Drive it in the middle, then nut and bolt from this side. And I'll, eventually we'll get this right. So put this thing on the back where the the rope is going to ride when you do the pulling on the weights. Tighten this side. And I'm just going to do the other side. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm just going to start it. And actually, let me see if I can get another piece in there. So I'll tighten that later. So once that piece is in here, so this is the part that goes across where you're going to pull on your leg, right? So it goes on the bottom. Pull right there, slides in, and so this is where it gets really, really cheap, right? There's nothing holding this bar. Normally the bar should be tied down here. I guess I can always drill a hole and put one there. But for the time being, they just slide the bar, and they take these leg pieces and just slide the leg pieces in. As weird as it seems, the leg pieces are what keeps the bar from coming off. So, you know, I guess some engineer was drunk when he was trying to design this thing. It's the best I can tell you. So, I guess, you know, whoever these Mercy Company people are, they need to hire new engineers. They're not drunk. Okay, so, you go so, basically you're going to lose with your foot. So let me go ahead and put that thing together. Maybe I can put another rod in there. 
There's one layer on here somewhere, since there were like hundreds of pieces. There's the other piece that's going to go on the inside piece right there. Same procedure once again. Yeah, if it's basically these things, the slides on the bar to hold the bar together, which is, you know, ridiculous beyond belief, but, you know, that's the way they made it, so. So the jacket came off of the sponge part, and now we've got too much on the other side, so just kind of play with it. And eventually it'll get to where it's normal on both sides, right? All we're looking for is equal distribution, if you would. So, I think that's good right there. So, this is it. Let me tighten all the bolts here. We'll come back and we'll do the second part. And the next assembly, let's take these two out of the way. So, it's going to be two washers. One going to go towards the top, one on the bottom. I'm going to put the nut and we're going to put these brackets. So, the bracket basically slides in here. Drop the bolt with the washer on the top and the washer and the bolt from the bottom. So that takes care of that. Do the exact same thing on the other side. Drop the bolt, drop the washer, put the washer and the bolt from the bottom. And so let me go ahead and tighten this and we'll be back. Okay guys, let's work on this little piece over here with the, another jigsaw puzzle. So there's a big plate over there. We're going to put in this couple of uh, little brackets and bunch of whole bunch of nuts and bolts over here, right? So these are bolts, little washers on them, and we'll just take four for now. I'll come back for the rest of them and I'll show you why. So let's just take four. We're gonna go back. So uh, this is the metal, the plastic pieces I was talking about that's gonna hold uh, this particular piece. So the next one that goes in is this piece, as you can see. Different exercise just to cover on it if you need to. So just put this, slide it in there. And see this bracket? There's one on the bottom too. So basically, when I bolt it in, it's gonna hook this thing to this guy right here. So I'm just gonna leave that. I'm gonna use one of the bracket. There's a notch here. Notch is gonna go on top of this piece. So the notch fits here. And you drive the bolt. So basically, let's go on the other side. It catches the bolt in the back. So that takes care of the top, right? You got to do the other side and tighten all that in. We'll come on the bottom. I'll do the same thing. Cut notch piece goes on the bottom. So that's going to catch in there. Actually, see, I made a mistake. So the plate is supposed to be on the outside of that. Didn't even pay attention to that part. So let me undo the top. So this kind of goes on the outside, on both sides, and the reason it's there is there's a bolt there, so you don't need the nut anymore. So same thing, let's reassemble with the bracket after I fix my mistake. You don't need the bolt on the bottom, I'm mean, sorry, the nut in the washer, you just need that on the top. So basically, just tighten these, and there you go. I'm going to do it on all sides. You know, there's four on the bottom, four on the top, and I'll be back. Okay, so we're going to do number 13. Basically running the cable, starts over there, so this kind of backwards right, let's look it upside down. Uh, pretend we're in China, so it starts from this side, loops way, and goes in there. Okay, so I got a pointy towards me, so it makes it easier. Drops and goes down here, and this is where you tighten this thing all the way, as much as it will go, right? Let's just tighten this. So let me tighten this case, and I'll come back, and we'll do the rest. Hey guys, so hopefully you like spaghetti. I mean, this is what spaghetti looks like. And you see, there's so many pieces, washers, bolts, and stuff. Basically, I'm just working off the pulleys, each one at a time. So for the demo, let's just do the first one over here. You know, so here we go. I got the washer, a nut, and a bolt. So it goes over here. I'm going to let the pulley right on top of the yeah, washer. goes... So I'm missing a piece here as you can see. Hopefully they gave me too little. I'll be right back. So guys, I figured out there's a bolt, right? You're gonna need these plastic pieces that rides on it. Number 43, otherwise they won't work. So basically I'm gonna pull this out. So I'm gonna push the, you know, drive from the inside out. 
because I got to lift the cable up. So first, let's put the bushing on this side. I'm going to do another bushing on that side. And then lift this thing up with the wire on it. And then put the bolt across, grabbing the bushing. Goes through the roller, comes out through the bushing. Goes nut on that side and a lock, sorry, a washer, then a lock nut. So that's basically assembly on one. And there's going to be like a bunch of these, right? I'm going to be doing assemblies on. So that's one. There's going to be one over here, one over there. So I'll just go ahead and assemble these and I'll show you after I'm assembled. Okay, so I'm back. Here's the rolly. You know, put some light on it. There we go, we'll get some lights with them doing the roller runs. This is a manual, look through, weave it through. Starts out over there, guys, right? It goes right there, weaves it, goes up, in, through the rollers, down here. This, this unit is going to connect to something else. Weaves up, weaves down, goes back, on the back of the machine, and it tightens into the weights here. So that's where we are. Let's go to the next step. Okay, guys, so we're going to do this piece over here, number 15. So, what you're going to need over here is a couple of nuts and a bolt. And this piece over here, the small pieces, they go across. All you're going to do is drive the bolt and tighten. So you're going to do the same thing on both sides of it, right? And there's the other piece. Goes across, push it in, tighten it here. So if you look at the picture, the piece I just tightened is this piece right here that goes on the arm. And we're going to bolt the arm through in a minute here. So this goes here, runs through here and goes on the bottom piece. So I have the bottom piece also assembled. So basically it's one of those you know, 90 degree bracket if you would, 180 degree bracket. Opposite side pointing this way, this one over here. So we're gonna you know, put a nut and bolt in this thing through the pulley. So basically this is what it's supposed to look like after you're done. So now we're gonna go ahead and let's hook it up to this part, which is basically gonna be this big bolts right here. They're gonna go across. So let's go over here and we'll put this thing up. So there's a bunch of pieces. This one's gonna hang on the bottom for the time being. So let's do this side. Can you put the light on? So let me put the light on in this thing. And let's see, here's the light symbol, light on. Now we can see better. And point to here like that. So basically what I'm doing is taking those long nuts, you just assemble this thing, drop, and washer, nut, and tighten. It goes one side, and then I'm going to grab this, go on the other side, it goes behind the bench, on this side, I'm just going to let it hang for a little tiny bit here while I nut in the bolt from the top. Sorry, bolt and a washer and a nut and a washer from this side. So let me tighten those pieces. So by the time you're done, there's be two pulleys and there's one hanging all the way on the bottom right there. So that's what they wanted for the time being. So I guess it's going to run this way and I'll come back and collect the rest of the roller so after I tighten this. So we're getting somewhere, right? We're on number 16. There's crazy amounts of bolts, spaghetti everywhere. Get to that later. So for now, I'm just going to run the third cable in. So let's start from the cable goes through. I'm going to do the pulleys later. All these holes, there's going to be all pulleys. We'll come back to those. I'm going to go through there. I'm going to go through here. I'm going to go through here. And there's going to be another pulley down here. And we're going to come up and catch this here. So I'm going to get a bolt for the top. So basically, nut in a bolt. And this is all going to make sense once we do the pulley. So I'm just going to, for now, I just want it assembled. 
in there, Titan, so, and I'll show you one roller, and we can run the rest of the rollers without you know, the picture. So basically look at in the instruction, this one goes on the bottom, so same thing again, two long bolts, one long bolt, two washers, uh, nut. So it goes through here, and you're going to obviously, so whenever the hole, if you look through here or this side, the holes are big, those are all for the bushing. So pretty much all the rollers right on bushing, there are one or two exceptions. So bushings, they go in here, bushings that go through here, and once I get all that, so I'm going to push through here, and I'm going to bolt it. The bolt is going to go. Bolt it over here. It goes through here. And a nut. Sorry, a washer and a nut. So basically this is where it's going to go, right? I'm going to do same exact principle here. And that one is also going to ride on the bottom side of it right there like that and we're gonna write the one on the bottom on the top uh, let me assemble this i'll come back okay okay guys so here's the mistake i made and this one i'm gonna give thumbs down to mercy folks i don't think these guys know how to do instructions well, whoever you know developed this was totally a uh, dumb bucket doesn't know how to write because uh, pictorials doesn't work so as you can see on this thing there's a little lip and I didn't know which side went first, right? There's a cut side and there's a round side. So I did install it backwards. So the correct way is, see the ball? The ball rests on this thing right here. So if there's a lip on there, that's the part that goes outside. So I'm going to have to reassemble this thing and rerun the wire. And we'll go from there. So guys, this is the assembled machine. Let's take it back there by the motorcycle. Looks like that. And so... There you go guys, took me a while, that's a good four hours to assemble this thing, reading instructions with the video, kind of slows you down, but still, if you're a really amateur builder, I wouldn't attempt it, if you know what you're doing, you follow instructions pretty well, uh, pictorial, picture instructions, that Mercy Machine might be for you.